Hello, hello, this is Clark 132 bringing you part 20 in our Grand Theft Auto San Andreas walkthrough. We are going up to 100%, and currently I checked, we are at 22.9%. So, we'll do our inventory check. Shovel. Deagle. Shotgun. SMG. Country rifle. RPG. Satchels. Camera. And that is all we have. Let's see, hooker, hooker, no hooker yet, so we'll deal with that later. Get this car here. And we're gonna go do Woozy's mission, the last mission, last episode you guys saw me do two Woozy's missions, one of which I uh, failed before, and then the other one I uh, took care of, which was riding on the bike. And actually, I'm gonna keep doing Woozy, or not Woozy, but uh, Jizzy's missions, because I'm kind of a. Con I like consistency, so I'm gonna continue to f do his missions until they are done before I even touch Woozy's. And I might go hit up uh, Zero's work. His is about three missions long. He might have his own dedicated episode, more than likely. And more than likely, he'll have his own dedicated episode set of probably one. Very, very possibly two. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it doesn't take me two missions. Oh, come on, car. Only problem with the stallion. Life's to drift. When you don't want it to drift. When you want it to drift, it won't. When you don't want it to drift, it does. Hey, wow, I actually got it to work right. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. And she just got herself ran over. Boom. Just randomly have that crash. T-Bone, pump your brakes, baby. Take a chill pill. And just lay back and let the red mist fall, brother. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, Holmes? Hey, partner. T-Bone, look. It's Carl. Now, he's a real hero out right there. Sad. See? We still good. What, are you Vato stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike. Mike. I've been trying to contact you. What? Oh, man. Where are you? Okay, just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. I can tell you you'll end up in the airport. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls? Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls and heavy machinery? What is that, a building site or landfill or something? There's a building site in Doherty. Yeah, you guys should know this building site in Doherty. It's your garage. Which you would think that CJ would know. Well, they wouldn't put it there, but... You would think, but I... Whatever, it's CJ, so we're gonna go there. You got that, and then hey, I. Just hang in there, Mike. Help is on the way. Event. I know in the end you wind up at the airport, and then it's a bit of a. I think no, this one's not the bit of the hassle. You'll have a decent amount of guys you gotta kill, just like usual. So just punch the gas. And hopefully, don't wreck. You do only have the five minutes left on the timer, so make sure you do. Make sure you drive quick. He says he can hear a truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the dock. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. Just punch it, and you'll want to go down about here. Yeah, I don't. Punch the gas or the minute, cliff. Mike. Don't wreck the car. Shit! He says they stopped. Then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot. To the airport, rápido. So there you go. Now we go to the freight depot. In the airport, you'll just drive straight through the gate, don't bother. Aircraft taking off and landing. Yeah, even though there is nobody landing at the airport right now. 
as you can see. Hey, don't worry, Mike. We're nearly there. Mike's cell phone battery is running low. There's the gate. And some dead security guard. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hid the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the game, but something must have fucked up. And now we gotta use it to find the van and rescue Mike. Oh, how it work? Simple. The closer we get, the stronger the signal. It's somewhere this way. Oh, yeah, I think you just drive out towards the center of this little area. Wait, oh, it's over here. It's right there. Shit! There they are! Kill all Hey man, come on, hurry up. It's about time, T-Bone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's one of Jizzy's clowns. Relax, Weddle. You hear that? We gotta torch this van with the coke in it. Hey, Charlie, Weddle, we ain't torching nada. This is a setback, but doing 20 to life is a little more than that. Comprende, amigo? Hey, he's right, man. Let's do it and get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, who the fuck asked you, payaso? This ain't a committee. Exactly. I call the shots here. Now shut up and let's go. So I'll blow up the van. I'm gonna use my rocket launcher just to make it quick. <laughs> now you gotta get in to this and take this vehicle. Are you screwing with me? And then book it out. Now there's gonna be some dialogue so I'm gonna be quiet. Or I think the dialogue comes after the cops are gone, which you'll get a three star right after you leave this gate. I think. At some point, I think you get a three star. You want to head to the pan spray at the at your place? Yeah, right there. I think it's where the where cops become three star. Yup. So now you'll want to go to a pan spray, like quickly. Best bet is just follow the tracks here. Don't flip the limo. <laughs> Nothing special about the limo. I'll see if they had a special plate on the limo, but they don't. Book it up to there. Whoa, cops are back there. So yeah, just make sure you try not to flip this thing. Because if you flip it with all until you, before you get up there, then it's really a pain. Because then you got to run for it. So we'll go up here, take care of this three star, and then I'm gonna drive on out to. Uh, Jesse's place. <clears throat> now there's gonna be some dialogue here on the way, so I'm gonna be quiet as the dialogue commences. So sit back and enjoy the dialogue. How long you been working for Jizzy? I haven't seen you before. Just got into town last week. I've done a couple jobs here and there. Just got into town, huh? Where were you before that? Hey, what is this? Man, just answer the fucking question. Look, man, chill. I've been to Los Santos with my family, all right? Give me his wallet. What? Hey, get off! Quit struggling and concentrate on the road. Here you go, Mike. Carl Johnson, huh? All right, I've seen enough here. Hey, it was a dub in there. Better still be there when I check it. Shut the fuck up. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that was about all the dialogue you have. Ow! Sorry, people. I didn't mean to. Well, seriously, I actually didn't mean to kill those guys. I'm just gonna take my usual way down. Past the little pizza parlor thingy.
And here we are, done with this mission. Okay, Carl Johnson, you did good today. Man, now shake the spot. We got shit to talk about. Seven thousand dollars and some respect. All right. I'm gonna do my next job for the garage now. Wait, while we're here. I'm a man of I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> no, you're not! F off, stupid cops. Alright, so I'm gonna drive back to the garage. I'm sorry, I had to get that shovel kill and had to beat her down. She was a bad hoe. We don't need hoes in San Piero. So now we're going to head on back to the garage for the next mission. I think it's only one more mission left for them, and then you have the Zero and Woozy's work. I think we might be heading out into the, um, desert soon. It's not like a mission or two away, it's probably still like six, seven missions out, but we're at least getting close to being done with San Fierro and moving on to the getting closer to Las Venturas, and I just ran that hooker down. I like killing hookers only with shovels, but whatever, that'll work. And up there's a chainsaw, as you guys may or may not have seen. I really don't care for the stinking little thingy there, the limo. So here we go. Partner. Jizzy, what's going on? Well, my business associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Excuse me, partner. I got a call coming in. A river dirty. Hey, yeah, whatever you say. Bye. Come on, come on. Come on. Take this guy's sake. Oh god. Woo! We're gone. Alright, so now we gotta go to the car. I don't exactly remember what we're supposed to do on this one. It's been a long time since this mission. But I know I am gonna grab that since I'm right here. <laughs> so there's a little armor for you. Those of you that didn't know where that was. Now we'll head on out. It's by the uh, gas station where you picked up one of the guys for the truth. I wanna say it was Jethro. Here's the sedan. We just gotta drive up to it. And then, uh, actually, I think you do have to get in. Oh, no, you just gotta walk up. Man, what the hell are everybody anyway? Pinchy Hoot or what? Uh, what the hell? You think you can mess uh, with me? Uh, I, I will blow uh, your head off and rape and kill your family, you snake! Uh, you think you can fucking bullshit me and fuck me over? Uh, I know your uh, fucking uh, game, Essie. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ah, uh, my throat! Who you working for? Nobody! Turn around and look at me. I'm just trying to make some money. Keep my mouth shut, I swear, man. <laughs> I almost had you, man. I almost fucking had you. <coughs> Watch ya. You gotta be careful in this business, man. You know that. Are you boys done playing around? Yeah, we're straight, Bottle. Oh, good. That's great. Now, we gotta go meet this shipment. We're late as it is. Let's go. You heard what Heffa said. So let's see, I know we get a van. We'll go to the van. I don't remember what this mission was. Shoot. I really just do not remember. For some reason I want to say you get a shipment and then you gotta go and just drive somewhere. Oh, you gotta defend a van. The shipment has to get to the factory. 
You make sure it does, we make it worth your while. We're watching you, kid. See more, Nessie. We're watching. Oh yeah, you gotta get on the bike, and you're gonna want to grab that, and you will want the sniper rifle. It will save you a lot of work. So get on the escort bike and just book it to the roadblock. Don't even bother with the van. As it says, you gotta take out the first roadblock before the van gets here, so just drive to the roadblock and just kill everybody. Like, seriously. Just kill everyone that is there before they can get to there. Because if these... If the van doesn't make it past these shipment or past these roadblocks, then you fail the mission automatically. Easiest way, I think, was to... Come on. I can just run this guy over. Grab some... You may want the guns, you probably shouldn't worry about it though. Which I slightly did. Now this next one's up here, you'll... You want to try to stay away from the actual roadblock itself or else you're gonna have problems. But right here is where I personally, I think, I used to use this spot at. You just want to try and pop these guys out right there. Which I cannot get them from here. So I'm gonna run over here. Smoke these three vehicles. That blows up a light pole, that's nice. There's that one. Oh, are you kidding? Okay, hang on. I gotta get this bike, and I gotta move fast, because this is not ending well for this guy, for this stuff. I know you didn't just hit me. Shut up, lady. Come on. I just blow that up, cause, just because it's getting... T van's right there, this is not going well for me. So just destroy these roadblocks, like, basically rape the crap out of these roadblocks with your uh, RPGs. There's only, I think, two more left, but these last two are annoying. RPGs do really well here. One guy left on this roadblock and crap, they, that van is getting really close. Shoot! That van's right there. And this is the hardest roadblock. Alright, I just run with the van from here. Whew! Van gets to safety from here. You don't have to worry about any more problems. Oh man, that got close. Ish. Cause I think I have failed that like the first or second time I played this. It failed. So, right here, you just run with the van. And that's the mission. Okay, we made it. But the cops gonna be all over the spot real soon. Get the van out of sight. I'm gonna get out of here. And there's that mission. $9,000. Oh, and you get a three-star! Oh, nice 
just gonna steal this guy's car just because I know I can book it from here. So you wanna get that, and now I'm gonna run, take care of my bounty, my wanted level, I should say, not bounty. Red Dead Redemption there. There's, as usual, the pain spray right there is beautiful. Whew! That got a little hairy. Now just don't do anything illegal, and you should be good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down here and do our inventory for the last time for this mission, or for this episode. And now we got something new. We have... Shovel. Desert Eagle. Shotgun. SMG. Sniper Rifle. RPGs. Satchels. And the camera. And that is all. So leave a like, make a comment, subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And I hope you all have had a good day. It's Color132 signing off. See you guys next time. Bye bye.